Hi guys, Marcy here, and I am so excited to be sharing my very first Know Me Pattern Sew Along video with my new Know Me Pattern, ME2007. This is a knit dress with a polished finish and a zip up front. It has two length variations, short length and a long length, so you can dress it up or you can dress it down. You guys know I love my versatility. There are not a lot of pattern pieces to this pattern, so it should be pretty easy to construct. I'll be doing view A for this sew along, so grab your pattern and let's get started. Okay, so before we get started, I just want to bring attention to two types of rib knits. This one is a lighter, thinner rib knit that's a bit more accessible, but it doesn't have a lot of recovery and it's a bit sheer. So I don't recommend um, using this for your midriff, but if you do decide to use something similar to this, um, double it up. Um, it works very well on your cuffs and you'll find that I will use this maybe sometimes for view B that needs a longer cuff. My favorite to use is the rib knit trim. And this is a seven by 38 inch piece. Um, it usually works well, uh, it's durable, it's dense, it's opaque, and it gives great recovery. This is a perfect size for most of the pieces for view A, um, most of the trim pieces for view A. If you do use it for view B, then you'll probably need a bigger piece for the cuffs. I usually get two pieces if I'm doing view A, um, you can use one to two pieces also for view B if you're using a different for the cuff. Make sure to review the back of the envelope for fabric recommendations, notions needed, and yardage based on the size being cut. I'm making view A. Let's go over the pattern pieces that need to be cut. You're going to need piece one, the boat is front, and you're going to need to cut two. You'll need to cut piece two. This is the yoke front and you need to cut two. You'll need piece three, which is the bodice back and cut one on the fold. Piece four, which is a contrast piece. This is your midriff front, cut two of the rib trim. Piece five is your midriff back. This is a contrast piece, cut one on the fold. Piece six is your skirt front. You're gonna cut two at either the A length or the B length. You're gonna cut piece seven. This is your skirt back. You're cutting one on the fold at either A length or B length. You're cutting piece eight, which is your pocket, and you're gonna need four. You also need piece nine. This is your neck band. This is a contrast piece. You're gonna be cutting one on the fold of your rib trim. Lastly is your sleeve band. For view A, you'll need piece 10 and you're cutting two of the rib trim. And if you're new to pattern making, don't forget you can refer to your pattern instructions on how to read pattern markings and also suggestions on cutting layouts for dress A and for dress B. Now let's get into our tutorial. So first, in order to keep the knit fabric stable for inserting a zipper, you're going to cut two one and a fourth wide strips of fusible interfacing to apply to the center of the bodice front one and the yoke front two, which this is the yoke front. And you're also going to make two strips to apply to your skirt front section six. Um, and take it to your ironing board and give it a good press. Now that I have stabilized my knit fabric with interfacing, I'm going to reinforce my inner edge of the bodice front at the small dot, stitching along the seam line for about one inch on both sides of the small dot. Okay, so now that I've reinforced the inner edge of my bodice fronts, I'm going to clip into the edge and stop right at the dot. Get as close to the dot without clipping to the thread or clipping through the thread as you can. And do this with both of your um, section one pieces. Once you've done that, we are going to take our section one and our section two pieces 
and we're going to put them together with right sides together and the raw edges even and pin the bodice front to the yoke front like so. Make sure you match up your notches and your dots as you're doing this. You can use your pins or you can use clips. You're going to pivot at the corner where you made your clip so that you have a smooth corner edge there when you sew it together. Okay, so you're going to do this for both sides of your bodice fronts and then you're going to take it to your machine and stitch it up. Once you finish stitching your front yoke to the front bodice, you can finish your seams and give the seams a good press, pressing them out away from each other. Now we'll move on to the bodice back. This is section three. You should have two pieces with front sides facing. We're going to pin the raw edges together, matching the notches on the back. There should be three notches on the back. We're going to pin or clip those together. And then after you're done, we'll take it to the machine and stitch it with 5 8 seam allowance. I went ahead and finished my back seam and I pressed the seam open. Now we're going to attach our bodice back to our bodice front pieces. So with right sides together and raw edges even, we're going to pin the bodice front to the bodice back at the so shoulder edges. Once the shoulder seams and underarm seams are pinned or clipped and secure, you can go ahead and stitch it, clipping the underarm curves where needed. Once you've completely sewn the front bodice to the back bodice, you can trim the seam edges and clip the curves. And you can also finish the edges um, the way you like and set the bodice aside. We're going to move on to the midriff where we have piece five, which was cut on a fold. This is the back midriff and the front midriff, which if you haven't already, needs to be stabilized with um, the interfacing which should be one and a fourth inches wide and you can measure your um, midriff to see how long you need to make your piece so we're going to stitch the midriff front to the midriff back and with front size facing we're going to pin or clip the side edges together matching the notches and dots and raw edges and seam raw edges and seams just like this. Once you finish pinning or clipping the side edges of the midriff, you can take it to the machine and stitch five eighths of an inch down the side edges of the midriff. Okay, so once you have the midriff stitched on the side edges, you can go ahead and finish your seams the way you like and press them apart. We are going to grab our bodice and we're going to put the right sides together with raw edges even and pin the upper edge of the midriff to the bottom edge of our... And this way yeah to the bottom edge of our bodice like so either pin or clip and then once you have the um all the centers and notches matching and the seams together you're going to stitch and stretch the midriff to fit the bodice like this when you stitch 
Okay, so once you've attached your midriff to your bodice, you can go ahead and finish your seams and use your pressing tool or an iron to press the um, seam of the midriff away from the bodice and open, like I've done here. Now you're finished with the bodice. We're gonna move that aside. Okay, so next we're gonna construct our skirt. We have four pieces of piece number eight, which is our pocket. You're gonna use two of those pockets that are gonna go with piece six, which is your front skirt, and the other two are gonna go with piece seven, which is your skirt back. We're gonna start with the skirt back, or at least I'm gonna start with the skirt back, and I'm gonna apply the pocket eight to the side edges of the skirt, matching up the notches and the dots with right sides facing. And I'm going to pin or clip those together. Make sure the edges are even, the raw edges are even, and you've matched all your dots and notches. And you're gonna apply the other one to the other side, like so. Matching up your dots and your notches, right sides together. Now I'm gonna take this skirt piece and I'm gonna take it to my machine and I'm going to stitch the seams through the dots. Okay, so if you haven't already, you can go ahead and apply your pocket piece to your front skirt, which is piece number six. You should have three pieces with pocket pieces attached to them and that is your skirt back and your two pieces for your skirt front. And now we're gonna pin the front to the back, um, the front skirt to the back skirt, matching large dots and side seams and pockets. Right sides facing we're gonna go ahead and pin the pockets together, making sure to match those dots, the dots and the seams. I say pin, but I'm also clipping. You can clip or pin. And pin all the way down the length of your skirt. Okay. So we're just gonna flip that over. Got one side pinned here. Now we're gonna pin the other side of the skirt. Right sides facing, matching the dots and the seams. Okay, so once your skirt 
pieces are pinned together. It should look a little bit like this with that interfaced seam in the front and your pockets on the side here. And you can take it to your machine and you're going to stitch along the side seam here, stopping at the dots and following the curve around the pocket. Once you stitch the pockets and the side seams, you can go ahead and clip the corners of the pockets, finish the seams the way you like, and give it a good press. All right, so now that we've finished the skirt and the bodice, we're gonna connect the two with right sides together and raw edges even. I'm gonna pin or clip the lower edge of the midriff to the upper edge of the skirt, matching the centers and the notches, like so. Then I'm gonna take it to my machine and I'm gonna stitch and stretch the midriff to fit as I stitch the seam together. Once the midriff has been attached to the skirt, you can go ahead and press the seams open and we're going to prepare to install our zipper. Next, we're going to prepare the front opening edge of our dress to install our zipper. We're going to do this by pressing under 5 eighths of an inch on the front opening edge. Make sure to press all the way down to the hem. So you should have already pressed under 5 eighths of an inch on both sides of the front open edges of the dress. Now we're going to pin our zipper in about 3 fourths of an inch below the upper edge. You're going to place your zipper and you're going to pin it close to the teeth. Once you've pinned the full length of the zipper down the edge of the opening of the dress, we're going to fold under the upper edge of the zipper tape, take it to the machine, baste and stitch it a fourth of an inch with an adjustable zipper foot.
So I've made marks um, where my zipper attaches at seams um, so that I can match up the other side uh, to those seams without any problems. And then I'm going to do the same thing as I did to the other side, pin it down, and then take it to the machine and stitch it. Once your zipper is in, all your seams should be even and matching. And now we're going to attach our neckband. So once you have your dress together, we're going to work on the neckband. This is piece number nine, I believe. Yes, piece number nine. And we're going to fold this over with wrong sides together, matching the raw edges. And I'm just going to secure it so that it stays together and doesn't pop open. And once I've done that, I'm going to pin the neckband to the neck edge of the dress with right sides together and raw edges even matching the center, matching the centers, the large dots in the notches. Once you've completed securing the neckband to the neckline edges, we're going to take it to the machine and stitch it and stretch the band to fit as we stitch. Okay, so now I have my neckband stitched on. I went ahead and I pressed the seam towards the bodice. Um, pressing out the neckband on the outside and I went ahead and top stitched the bodice. Uh, a fourth inch from the seam. Next, we're going to do our cuff. Okay, so I'm doing view A, so I cut the sleeve band or cuff for um, view A, which is a smaller one, but they are both constructed pretty much the same way. You're going to take um, one of the sleeve bands and with the right sides together, you're going to stitch the notched ends of the sleeve band and fold the sleeve band in half with wrong sides together and raw edges even and press. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and match up those side seams with the notches and pin them or clip them. And then I'm gonna take them to my machine and I'm gonna give them a stitch right down the side there. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that for both of my sleeve bands. and I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna stitch them. Okay, so here are my sleeve bands. I'm just gonna give these seams just a little press with my tool here just to flatten them out a little bit. And then, um, like I said, we're gonna fold the sleeve band over in half with the wrong sides together and the raw edges even, just like this. Make sure you match up those notches. Get them nice and cuffed up. That's how it should look. Do that for both of them. And we're just preparing these to be attached to the um, hem of the sleeve that's on the dress. All right, so I have my cuffs here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna match up this seam here with the, um, the back well, the underarm seam of the dress. There is the underarm seam, this seam here. I'm gonna match them up. Pull this through here. And on the outside, I am going to pin the band 
to the lower edge of the sleeve, matching the underarm sleeves and the notches with these raw edges together. Let's get that together like that. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clip that all the way around, matching up my notches and stretching it as I go. Stretching the band to fit. Okay, so we're all done with the sleeve. Um, the sleeve band, I went ahead and I searched the inside of the seam and I also gave it a press. All that's left is the hem to my dress and she's done.